Hey guys, welcome to Beer 30. I am Greg. With me is Josh and Josh. Hey fellas. Hey Greg. Hey Greg. How's it going? Oh, going pretty good. Well, I'm kind of a little congested. Congested. But maybe a little beer will clean up. I got a little tea and whiskey actually over here. Can I pause cough syrup? Uh huh. That'll help me out a little. But um, today we're reviewing something uh, from O'Fallon. It's the Rizzuto Show beer. They're a, um, a radio show on 105.7 The Point here in St. Louis. Um, they have a beer out called Taking Care of Rizness. Hmm. And um, kind of uh, pretty hard to find, actually. Really? Um, I searched... I searched through a few, uh, it was supposed to be at Schnucks, I, I actually found a Schnucks, they didn't have it out yet, and uh, they're, uh, they basically said, uh, oh, we don't, I think it's on the, on the pallet in the back, and anyway, I'm like, well, could you get me one? <laughs> I was like, fine, so I went back and got me one, so, anyway, uh, this is an amber ale, um, Looks like it came out on November 9th, right? It was supposed to, and I don't know if it really all that did. Yeah, it was the first day of distribution, I guess. It was kind of hard to come by. That's been kind of the thing that's that like uh, bands and things have. Seems like that's been kind of a more common thing that bands. I don't. This is the first time I've seen. Oh, like, they've a show all started. Did, but, I, yeah, uh, the like, Urge had one. Urge, 311. Yeah. Um, no uh, effects. No effects had one. Yeah. Um, well, and then as far as radio station, they had a Point Birthday Brew. Yeah. And then KC had KC. a beer too. Yeah. And of course we've tried them all. Uh, so this uh, Amber Ale, five percent. So um, obviously it's going to be an amber color, huh? It's a lot of a lot of just uh, advertisements of the Rizzuto show all over the box and all over the bottles yeah basically they're uh just trying to read some yeah of that, but we got oh, riz go. patrico moon and jeff on the box there here we go it's a five percent abv uh you want to play the ibu's game you okay. up for it sure. ibu game here we go folks what do you he's thinking Ooh. Hmm. i haven't had a beer that Tastes like this in quite a long time, I think. This, yeah. takes, this takes me back to like whenever we were first started drinking craft beers. Yeah, because it's Urban. not it's not too far away from like it, it doesn't go far away from your buds and all right. that. It's kind of your first step. Right. It kind of reminds me of your first step. I wanted to say 37. Then I lowered it at 35. Now I want to say 28. 28. What do we got? 18. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Man, see, it seems what's wrong with me? I don't know. You've been off the last two weeks. I know. <clears throat> so the grains, two row, Munich, and caramel. Hops are Magnum, Cascade, and Centennial. So it does say... I something. really like Cascade hops. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you can find a smash beer with all Cascade. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a good beer. It's got that... Um, Citrusy, yeah. Taste it says, "Hey weirdos, get some Riz show in you. The Rizzuto show is always taking care of Rizness. Weekday mornings from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on 105.7 The Point. The Riz show regularly provides you with a heaping dose of radio gold on the air. Now let now let them provide you with a delicious bottle of amber ale with the first ever official Rizzuto show beer, court, courtesy of O'Fallon Brewery." Cheers from Riz, Patrico, Burton, Moon, and King Scott to our team Riz members and all the Point listeners out there. So there you go. It's really good. I actually really enjoy yeah. this. Yeah. Like I said, it just kind of takes me back a little bit. I don't know. I don't know why, but like the first sip was like, wow, this kind of. It's reminiscent of like yeah that early like just, just getting introduced to the craft. It's beers. got a little bit more meat than like a like a lager, you yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not hoppy like a pale ale. So, I mean, right. it's a good, it's a quality amber ale. Yeah. It's got some bite to it, though. That's what threw me off. Yeah, I think so, too. It's kind of a little, a little tingling going on. A little tingle, but size not too of the bad. tongue. 
Show me your tingle. Show me your tingles. Oh. But <laughs> anyway, um, all right. What do, what do you guys uh, think of the? What are you gonna rate this? You go first, sir. Eh, I'll say a B. A B. B? Solid B. Uh, I go a little higher than that. I go A minus. I like this beer. A minus. I think I'm along the lines of you. A minus. Um, I think uh, actually. It won't be hard to drink this six pack. Sometimes yeah. some of these beers that we buy sit in the fridge, and this one maybe we'll yeah. end up drinking. <laughs> I see my sister and Kevin are are watching, or they at least they were. So if they can find this out there, it's worth picking up. Yeah, give it a try. So, uh, all right, we'll uh, see you next time.